Hey guys, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Hey, cuz, and hi everybody on our own website, and uh, anybody tuning in on Facebook Live and on YouTube, wherever you are, and whichever channel you're tuning in on Friday evening for our quizzy quiz for quizzers quiz. You're very welcome. How are you all keeping? Do we see a bit of light at the end of this tunnel? This is month 12 of this thing and month 12 of our thing. So you're especially welcome if you're new, if you're regulars, maybe you're the ones that are especially welcome. So thank you for tuning in. Thanks for all your donations to our charities and to this project we've still got plans we wish to make this a post covid project there you go hey race hey keith hey bark and mad good to see you all tuning in on our website so this is a hopefully post covid project lots of exciting plans stay tuned so friday friday evening is our quizzy Quiz for quizzers quiz. A bit more quizzy. Saturday evening is our party quiz. Still quizzy mind, but a, li a little bit more entertainment -y. A little bit more, hey team dev, hey Deirdre, Kira, could I wish Tony a happy 50th birthday? He loves the quiz and has been watching since the beginning. God love you, Tony. You're still there. Happy 50th, Tony. Where was I? Yeah, Saturday is our party quiz. Quizzy, but with a entertainment twist. And now we can do moving images, clips, movie clips, sporting clips, TV clips, clips of clips of clips, and quizzy stuff and tunes, and an after party quiz with uh, fastest finger ever growing in popularity. Hey, Heather and the Douglas clan. Hey, Isabel. So there you go. This evening, however, let's concentrate on the job in hand. Quizzy quiz. Quizzy quiz. We've got four rounds as always. If it isn't broken, don't fix it. Three famous Julies. Three famous London locations. Three famous pseudonyms. Three famous US presidents with a common denominator. A full round of connections. Your Friday evening is renowned for freshly made connections. A full course of connections. 12 images. We've got a map. We've got some curious animals. We've got some symbols. And we've got some catchphrases tucked into the picture round. Say what you see. Round four. Three famous lines, three famous who came before, three famous idioms, and we finish with three things of the natural world. Hey, John, Francis, Phoebe, all on our website, all free. This is all completely free. Hey, Kathleen, how are you keeping on Facebook Live? Donations to our charities and donations. Throw in a couple of shekels if you like what we're doing and investing in our project. Hey, Seb, all good. Let's get cracking. 48 points available this evening for you competitive so-and-sos. So three famous Julies. Julie, 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 do you love me? Who sang that? Anyway, famous Julie number one. Famous Julie number one. That wasn't a question that Julie, 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 by the way. Mary Poppins is your famous Julie number one. Mary Poppins. I'll ease you in nice and gently. Mary Poppins. Famous Julie number one. Famous Julie number two. Sandra Wilkinson in Billy Elliot. Sandra Wilkinson in Billy Elliot is your famous Julie, number two. Mm -hmm. 
sorry, Bill. I keep apologising to you, Bill, for these British Isles centric questions. But who who knows? Famous Julie number three, Bet Lynch in Coronation Street. Bet Lynch in Coronation Street is your famous Julie number three. Evening, Billy, Connor, Shane in the cave. Easy to enter, difficult to exit. Enjoy, Shane. Bet Lynch in Coronation Street is your famous Julie, number three. Four, five and six are famous London locations. So you're going to get um, a clue or a couple of clues and you have to figure out the famous location or what it's more famously coined as or known as. Okay, famous London location number one or question number four. The Central Criminal Court, the Central Criminal Court in postal code AC4. You would know, hey Andrea, you would know this as what? The Central Criminal Court in AC4 is famously called what? Is your famous London location famously called what? Hello Anna, Tempire Strikes Back in Temple, Patrick and Birmingham here. Evening Anna. So the Central Criminal Court, EC4, famously known as what? Famous London location number two. The headquarters of the Metropolitan Police in Victoria. Famous London location, famously known as what? The headquarters of the Metropolitan Police in Victoria District, London, famously known as Famous London location number three. Located in Ludgate Hill, designed by Sir Christopher Wren. Ludgate Hill, Sir Christopher Wren. Famous London landmark location number three. Ludgate Hill, Sir Christopher Wren. Don't worry if you're late tuning in. We'll do a full recap as we always do at the end of each round. Seven, eight and nine. Famous pseudonyms. Famous pseudonyms. So you get their real name and you're going to figure out who they're more famously remembered as. Pseudonyms. Number one. Looking for the pseudonym. Robert Leroy Parker. Robert Leroy Parker was an American bank and train robber. Famous pseudonym number one. Robert Leroy Parker, an American bank and train robber. So after Robert Leroy Parker, your American bank and train robber, famous pseudonym number two, Lev Davidich Bronstein. Lev Davidovich Bronstein, born 1879, a Russian Marxist and revolutionary. 
the famous pseudonym number two, Lev Davidovich Bronstein, born 1879. Your Russian Marxist and revolutionary, famous pseudonym number two. Lev Davidovich Bronstein, 1879, Russian Marxist and revolutionary. Famous pseudonym number three, Dominikos Theotokopoulos, a Greek painter, sculptor, and architect of the Spanish Renaissance is your famous pseudonym number three, Dominikos Theotokopoulos, a Greek painter, sculptor, and architect of the Spanish Renaissance is your tricky, quizzy, famous pseudonym number three. Who would that Greek painter Dominikos Theotokopoulos. Greek painter, sculptor, architect of the Spanish Renaissance. Okay, 10, 11 and 12, your final three. Quizzy enough. Famous US presidents from their middle names. So you get three middle names of three famous, hopefully, US presidents, and you give me the president. So their middle names, three of them. Famous US president from Hussein. Hussein was which American US president's middle name? Hussein. Number two, Delano. Delano, D-E-L-A-N-O, Delano, is your middle name of which U.S. president? And finally, Hussein Delano, and we finish with Baines, B-A-I-N-E-S, Baines, Hussein, Delano, and Baines. Three middle names, but we're looking for three former U.S. president. Let's recap in writing, shall we? Your famous Julies, Mary Poppins, Sandra Wilkinson in Billy Elliot, not the cave, Bet Lynch in Coronation Street, your famous London locations, Central Criminal Court, EC4, headquarters of the Met in Victoria, Ludgate Hill, location designed by Sir Christopher Wren, Famous pseudonyms, your Robert Leroy Parker, your American train and bank robber, Lee Davidovich Bronstein, born 1879, your Russian Marxist and revolutionary, and Dominikos Theotokopoulos, your Greek painter, sculptor, and architect of the Spanish Renaissance. And then we were looking for three US presidents. The clues were their middle names, respectively, Hussein, Delano, and Baines. 12 points in round one. I'll let you tidy that round up. Back to you in a few moments where we'll move seamlessly-ish into connections. And then at the end of each, each round, you can, we'll give you your answers in a few moments. You can post your team, known, team names and your scores. Back to you in a few moments. Okay, so how did you get on? Tidy up your answers out of 12? Well, let's find out. Good luck. 
So your three Julies, Julie Andrews, Mary Poppins, Julie Walters, Sandra Wilkinson and the wonderful Billy Elliot, Bet Lynch. Bill, well done if you got Julie Goodyear. The Central Criminal Court, EC4, The Old Bailey, Scotland Yard in Victoria, Headquarters of the Met, St Paul's Cathedral in Ludgate, Butch Cassidy, Robert Lee Roy Parker, Leon Trotsky and El Greco were your three famous pseudonyms, Barack Hussein Obama, Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Lyndon Baines Johnson are your three US presidents from their middle names. So out of 12 points, post your team names and your scores. How well you're getting on. Bargain Mad on 12, Cahiz and Nadal on 11, Andrew and Claire on 10, Deborah on 11, Comfortably Dumb on 11, Sam Hi, Sandbaggers on 12, good scoring guys. Chickpeas also on 12, off to Flyers, Bernie and Kevin on 12, Shamrock Solitude 10, Lockdown Haircuts 11. The McLaughlins on 12, also Billy, Connor and Shane on 10, Derek, Captain Morgans, Evening Derek on 11, Finns Fools on 11, Fantastic Scoring, The Richmonds on 11, Carnegie Collective on 10, Donnelly's Newbridge 12, David Closely Behind, Two of a Kind, Heather and the Douglas Clan on 11, Temporary Strikes Back on 9, El Paso Duo, Well Done Marty on 12, Thunder Broads, High Cora on 10. Keep those scores coming in. Andrea Aston Villa, Villains on 9. Rusty Nails, well done Karen on 12. Bernie and the Stellars on 10 on Facebook. Team Dev, maxing out. Round 2, keep the scores coming in. And if I don't mention you or omit, I apologise. I do my best to get everybody mentioned. So... Round two. Round two is your connections. So, if you haven't played connections before, dead simple. Well, maybe it's simple, but it's not easy. Or it's easy and it's not simple. You know what I mean. Three bits of random information. You join the dots. Hey, Deirdre, well done on 12. Francis on 10. You get three bits of random information. Rhonda, fantastic on 10. Join the dots and figure out the common denominator. Okie dokie. Sorry for all that rustling of paper. The sooner we get this all automated, the better. So, connection number one. What connects? What connects a ranking system in martial arts with the Da Vinci Code with the dandies, i.e. comic, the dandies mascot. So the dandies mascot, a ranking system in martial arts with the Da Vinci Code is your what connects, number one. Martial arts ranking system. Da Vinci Code and the dandy as in the comic mascot. Number two, what connects? Second series X Factor winner, a hospital division, and an electoral district. An ele electoral district, a hospital division, and the second series winner in X Factor is your What Connects number two.
What connects number three? What connects Leopold Bloom's wife in Ulysses, James Joyce, with cockles and muscles, with Andy Davis's younger sister in Toy Story? So Andy Davis's younger sister in Toy Story, cockles and muscles, and Leopold Bloom's wife in James Joyce's Ulysses. Is your what connects number three? All a bit disparate, which is the good thing about connections because somebody might get an idea on James Joyce where somebody may be more interested in Toy Story. The good thing about connections, me thinks. What connects, number four. What connects a sugar-free chewing gum with a submarine launched ballistic missile with Poseidon or Neptune's weapon of choice. So Poseidon or Neptune's weapon of choice. A submarine launched ballistic missile with some sugar free chewing gum. Is your what connects? Number four. Good scoring, Vanessa. Carnegie Collective. Good scoring, everybody, in round one. It's a bit of a mouthful. Your sugar-free chewing gum. A submarine-launched ballistic missile with Poseidon or Neptune's weapon of choice. Connection five, what connects? What connects a 2012 Catherine Bigelow movie, Osama Bin Laden's Manhunt, with minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or centigrade with a diet cola? Flip, what connects a diet cola with minus 273.15 degrees centigrade slash Celsius with your 2012 Catherine Bigelow movie which was all about Osama Bin Laden's manhunt. Is your What Connects number five? Connection six, what connects? What connects a low pH number with a corrosive su substance with LSD? What connects LSD with a corrosive substance with a low pH number? Is your what connects number six? Good when you figure it out though, isn't it? A bit of a thrill. What connects? Number seven. A body part. A game of cards. A clock face. Quite simply, a body part. 
a game of cards with a clock face. What connects? Number seven. couple of tricky ones in the final five. This is you, they're all tricky. What connects number eight? What connects dizziness, dizziness with an Alfred Hitchcock movie with a U2 song that lent its name to their 0506 world tour? So what connects dizziness with a Hitchcock movie with a U2 song that lent its name to their 2005-2006 world tour. Is your what connects? Number eight. Dizziness. Hitchcock movie. U2 song. U2 tour. Connection number nine. What connects? What connects a farming tool or implement with the Big Dipper in Ursa Major with a Sean O'Casey four-act play? What connects? A Sean O'Casey four-act play with the Big Dipper in Ursa Major with a farming tool or implement is your what connects number nine some of you are going that man's on lsd that was your connection number nine connection number ten What connects? What connects great in Latin? Great in Latin. With Tom Selleck. With Dirty Harry. Great in Latin. Tom Selleck. And Dirty Harry. Is your what connects? Number 10. Two to go. What connects? What connects the state of Louisiana with a musical conductor with the final event in a track or athletics meet? So the final event in a track athletics meet with a musical conductor with the state of Louisiana is your tricky, quizzy connection number 11. Hmm. Tester. Louisiana. Musical conductor. Final event in an athletics or track meet. And your final connection. What connects? Probably cricket's most famous icon. A prayer of thanksgiving. With Jeff Buckley. Now there's a real tester for you. So you have to figure out who could cricket's most famous icon be. Jeff Buckley? Who's that? With a prayer of thanksgiving. Is your what connects? Number 12. Okay.
they were tricky connections this afternoon evening. Let's put them up in writing for you. Have a few moments. Ponder. Argue. Fight. So there's your connections. I'll leave those with you as you tidy up your what connects connections round number two. So your martial arts ranking system, the Da Vinci Code and the Dandy's mascot, second series X Factor winner, Hospital Division, Electoral District, Andy Davis's younger sister in Toy Story, Cockles and Muscles, Leopold Bloom's wife in Ulysses, your sugar-free chewing gum, your submarine launched ballistic missile, Poseidon or Neptune's weapon of choice, your Catherine Bigelow movie, The Manhunt, about Osama Bin Laden, minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or centigrade, and um, a diet, what's that, a diet cola, low pH number, corrosive substance, LSD, a body part, a game of cards, a clock face, dizziness, Alfred Hitchcock movie, and a U2 song that was the name also of their 0506 tour. What connects? Your farming tool, your big dipper in Ursa Major and a Sean O'Casey four act play. 12 connections, 12 points available. How did you get on? Okay, hope you enjoyed those connections. Hope you did well. Well, let's find out how well. Okay, your answers are to your connections was of course Dan as in Desperate Dan, the Dandy as in Dan Brown, Da Vinci Code as in Dan as in your martial arts awards, belts. Shane Ward, uh, X Factor Series 2, Ward as in Hospital, Ward as in Electoral District, Molly Bloom as in uh, uh, Leopold, as in Molly Malone, co Coggles and Muscles, as in Andy Davis's younger sister, Molly Davis, Trident, Chewing Gum, Trident Missile, Trident, as in Poseidon or Neptune, yeah, Weapon of Choice, Zero, Dark, 30, Absolute, Zero, Coke, Zero, Zero, PH, Seven, Less Than, Acid, Acid, as in your corrosive substance. Acid, as in if you tripped over LSD. Hand, as in body. Hand, as in cards. Hand, as in clock. Vertigo, dizziness. Vertigo, U2. Vertigo, Hitchcock. Plough, the plough in the stars. Sean O'Casey, the plough. The big dipper plough, as in your farming implement. Magnum, Magnum PI. Great in Latin and Magnum Force, Harry Callahan. Baton Rouge, Baton as in conductor and Baton as in your 4x400 relay race. WG Grace, Grace as in before or after meals and Grace as in Jeff Buckley's first and only studio album featuring Hallelujah and what happened to the last three connections? Did uh, I miss something? So out of 24, good scoring Sam, Bernie and Kevin. Well done guys, well done. Super scoring all round. Those were tricky enough connections. Twenty three, comfortably done, well done. Five is zero. Yeah, zero, zero, dark thirty. Absolute zero, cope zero, well done. Great scoring, everybody. Fantastic. Eurowalls clan. Hi hey, Eurowalls. Donnelly's Deirdre Team Dev. Ugh. Last three are not on the screen. Oh. 
Oh, they're not on the... Oh, they're not on the screen. Okay. Apologies, guys. Sorry if they weren't on the screen. Hmm. Ah, maybe were they blocked out? Okay, need to take a look at that. Apologies, guys. Sorry. Well done, Bargamad24. Yeah, zero, Coke zero, absolute zero, as in minus 273.15. Well done, everybody. Keep your scores. Yeah, David, absolute, as in Coke, absolute, as in absolute zero, but not Catherine Bigelow's movie. Fan Dabadozi. After round two and your connections. I don't think there was absolute in Catherine Bigelow. And that was intentional. I thought people would go for absolute. Anyway, it's all good. Round three. Images. We've got 12 points available. We'll start with three catchphrases. Say what you see. Say what you see, number one. Number one. Catchphrase number one. Some good images this evening. Catchphrase number two. Say what you see. Catch phrase number three. Say what you see. Okay, those were your first three. Your three, say what you see. Now we do four, five, and six. Three symbols. What do they represent? Three symbols. Symbol number one. Good luck. Symbol number two.
symbol number three. Okay, next three, seven, eight, and nine. So you're going to get um, a map of Europe. You have to identify the three countries with the blue. The three countries with the blue. The rest are numbered. You can ignore those. So it's the three countries with my wonderful air brushing. See the things I can do now. Three countries with the blue mark, three of them, European countries, good luck. Final three, three curious animals. Hmm, curious. Animal number one. Curious animal, number two, what's this animal? And curious animal, number three, do you know this? OK, 
Okay, let's do a quick fly through. Delighted at the fact we can do these images when I think way back. Phone against Kate Salad Bowl. This was only dream stuff. Now we can do images, music, and tomorrow evening. Tune in. Tune in for your party quiz and we've got some clips. Moving images. Look where we've come in 11 and a bit months. Wonderful stuff. And thank you for being there the whole way. Your three catchphrases, say what you see. Number one. Say what you see. Number two. Say what you see. Number three. Three symbols. Your three European continental countries, not the mystical island on off the west coast of Galway, but your three Irish, Irish, <laughs> European countries. And then we finished with your three curious animals. Okay, 12 points available in that round. In fact, consistently, unusually, there's 12 points on every round this evening. So even for me. Okay, your answers to your third round before we go into round four, our final round on our quizzy quiz. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Here's your answers to round three. So we had half-baked Blast from the past, your say what you see, hand in hand, infinity, omega. However, however, if anybody got ohm, as in the symbol for resistance, I believe, uh, that's also acceptable because the ohm um, physics symbol was taken from the letter omega. So omega or ohm, square root, your countries. Did you get Belarus? Did you get Romania? And did you get the teeny weeny one Slovenia? Your sloth, your wombat, and your lemur. How did you get on in your picture round with your sloth, wombat, lemur? Out of 36, post your scores on or feed lockdown haircuts 35, Cahiz Nadal 34, Edwina's Fools 35, Deborah 34, Bernie and Kevin 34, Cora 22, must be from last round, Keith 33, Bargain Mad 36, Eurowalls 32, Sandbaggers 36, a lot of you are maxing out. Douglas Clan, 35. Claire and Andrew, 35. Deirdre, 35. Chickpeas, 35. El Paso Dewey, Duo, 35. Well done on Slovenia. Marty, Francis, 31. Scoring is magnificent. Stellars, 34. Andrea, 29. McLaughlin's, 36. Fantastic scoring. Keep the scores coming in on all channels. Paul, 34. Paddy, 35, Billy and Connor and Shane, 31, David, 31, Shamrock Solitude, 33, a Carnegie Collective on 30. I won't get everybody, but that's a sample of how well you're doing. Walton's on 32. Great scoring, guys. Your final round. 
your final round and the Donnellys have matched out. Your final round is Quizzy. Heather, Slovenia, Coleraine beat Maribor there. That's how you knew it. Henry, you missed the Wombat. Rusty Nails, 34. On Facebook Live. Great scoring, guys. Fabulous. Keep the scores coming in. No beating those lockdown haircuts. Okay, final round. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Fan Dabadozy. Good Karen and the Rusty Nails. Famous lines. Three famous lines. This is a tricky round. This is a quizzy round to sort the wheat from the chaff. Sheep from the goats. Walk the line. Three famous lines. Walk the line. A 2005 biographical drama about whom? Walk the line. Is your famous line number one? Famous line number two. An imaginary line on the surface of the earth. It demarcates the boundary between one calendar day and another. Is your famous line number two. An imaginary line on the surface of the earth. It demarcates the boundary between one calendar day and another. Is your famous line number two. Famous line number three. Named after the French Minister of War. It was a line of concrete fortifications and weapon installations in France. Built during the 1930s to deter German invasions. Is your famous line number three. It was named after the French Minister of War. This is a line of concrete fortifications and weapon installations in France built in the 30s to deter German invasions, is your famous line number three. Some tricky ones in the home straight here, guys. So those of you who've maxed out, you need your wits about you. All doable, but it's also possible to hit the post, so to speak. Four, five, and six. Famous who came before. Famous who came before. Your famous who came before, number one. This was the first American in space. Before Virgil Ivan Grissom or Gus Grissom and John Glenn is your famous who came before number one. He was the first American in space before Virgil Ivan Grissom or Gus Grissom or John Glenn. Famous who came before number one. The first American in space is your quizzy who came before number one. Tricky, tricky, sporty, who came before number two. I think we all know if I was to ask who the current world record holder is for the 100 metres, you'd, you'd know that. Pretty much everybody knows that. However, who came before Usain Bolt as the 100 metre world record holder? So who held the 100 metre dash world record before Usain Bolt? 
took the record. Is your who came before number two? So the 100 meter dash, 100 meters world record, the fastest man on earth before Usain Bolt. Who would that have been? Tricky, who came before number two. Any ideas? Any ideas? Who came before number three? So, to remove any potential controversy, I'm excluding Daniel Day-Lewis from this, just to avoid any controversy and for the purpose of clarity. To be clear, who came before? Before Michael Fassbender. Did you know that Michael Fassbender's mum was from Larne? Did you know that? L Billy, Bill, Lauren is in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. Okay, yeah, Adele, Michael Fassbender's mum was from Lauren. Before Michael Fassbender, excluding Daniel Day-Lewis, who was the last Irishman to gain an Oscar nomination for Best Actor? Who came before? So who came before Michael Fassbender as the last Irishman, excluding Daniel Day-Lewis, to win an Oscar nomination for Best Actor is your Who Came Before, number three. Told you they were tricky. Good tricky. Thought-provoking tricky. Debate tricky. And yes, Michael Fassbender's mum, Adele. From Larn. See the stuff you learn here. So there's your three famous who came before's. Seven, eight, and nine. We're in the home straight, guys. Famous idioms. Famous idioms, common day expressions. I give you kind of rough, loose definition. Well, not that loose. And they give you the initials of the phrase, idiom, expression that, that we use in yeah, everyday language. Definition. A good thing that initially seemed bad. A good thing that initially seemed bad. The initials of your idiom is A, B, I, D. Alpha, Brava, India, Delta. A good thing that initially seemed bad is your famous expression or idiom number one. A, B, I, D. A good thing that initially seemed bad. True, Derek. Famous idiom number two. Definition. Just barely making it. Just barely making it, inverted commas. Initials of your idiom or expression, B, B, bravo, T, tango, S, sugar, O, orange, Y, yellow, T, tango, B, T, S, O, Y, T, bravo, tango, sugar, orange, yellow, tango. Just barely making it. Famous expression or idiom, number two.
are you referring to Michael Fassbender's mum, Terry? B-T-S-O-I-T, just barely making it. The famous idiom, expression that we use, being in good health, being in good health. F, Freddy, A, Alpha, A, Alpha, F, Freddy. Freddy, Alpha, Alpha, Freddy, F, A, A, F. Being in good health is your famous idiom, number And thank you for tuning in, as always, to our quizzy quiz for Quizzers Quiz. 11 and a bit months on, Friday nights wouldn't be the same without it. That's what Kate says. Your final three. Three on the natural world. Three on the natural world. Okay. Yep, these will test you. So, they're kind of, I'll just dive in. What percentage of the Earth's global land area do you think you is forested? So, what percentage of the Earth's global land area is forested? So, if you get within 5%, you get a point. So, percentage of the Earth's global land Excluding oceans, land area, do you think, according to the 2020 World Forest Global Agency, is forested? It's an official percentage, so I just didn't make it up. And you, there's a margin of error of 5%. So what percentage, to get a point that is, what percentage of the Earth's global land area do you think is presently, or in 2020, forested? And your natural world, number two. It's the deepest oceanic trench. You know, probably know that. It's called the Marianas Trench. It's the deepest point on the Earth's crust, under sea. But I want to know how deep it is. How deep? In feet or indeed metres? And I'm going to give you a 10% margin on that. So... The deepest point in the Earth's crust, the Marianas Trench. How deep is that? Feet or metres? Don't care. I've got both measurements here. And you've got a 10% margin of error. The Marianas Trench. How deep? How deep is your trench? Famous Bee Gees number. Marianas Trench. Feet or metres? within 10% to get a point. Is your natural world number two? So percentage of the Earth's global land area that's forested, percentage, land, deepest Oceanic trench, the deepest part of the Earth's crust, under the ocean, feet or metres, how deep? 5% and 10% margin of error in those two respectively. And your final natural world and indeed your final quizzy quiz for quizzers quiz question this Friday evening, March 5. Where is the world's driest non-polar desert? Where is the world's driest? Are it? No rainfall or precious little non-polar desert. So excluding the Arctic, Antarctic regions, the driest place on the planet, desert, where would that be? So those are your three natural worlds. So let's recap on your final round in your quizzy quiz for quizzers quiz 
we had your famous lines, your three famous lines. Walk the Line, a 2005 biographical drama about him. Your imaginary, imaginary line on the surface of the earth. It demarcates the boundary between one calendar day and another. And named after the French Minister of War. Did you remember or know the line of concrete fortifications built in France in the 1930s to deter German invasions? Famous who came before? First American in space, before Gus Grissom and John Glenn. And who held the 100 metres world record before Usain Bolt? And excluding Daniel Day-Lewis, but before Michael Fassbender, mum was from Larn for a million points. Adele, two million points if you got her name. The last Irishman to gain an Oscar nomination for Best Actor was whom? Your famous idioms. A good thing that initially seemed bad. A, B, I, D. Just barely making it. B, T, S, O, Y, T. And being in good health. F, A, A, F. And then your natural world. The percentage of the world's land area that is forested within 5%. And the deepest ocean trench, the Marianas Trench, the deepest point in feet or meters within a 10% margin. And then where is the world's driest non-polar desert? So tidy up your answers to your final round on our quizzy quiz for quizzers quiz. Promo for tomorrow evening, Saturday the 6th of March, we have got our party quiz. Bit of quizzy stuff, movie, TV, music -y, definitely music -y, tune -y, entertainment -y. clips, we're good at clips, oh, sorry I shouldn't be so complacent, we've mastered, no, so far we've mastered the ability to edit some clips of movies or TV programs or whatever it is we decide to do and hopefully you enjoy those so tune in and see those firsthand uh, and a music round and then our after party on a Saturday evening so you're all very welcome to tune in tomorrow evening all free but we do accept donations to our charities and to our project or little cooperative and thank you for those people who've been so supportive emotionally and financially your answers to your final round. So, your walk the line, Johnny Cash, the international date line, the Maginot line was your French barrier. Alan Shepard was the first man in space before Gus and before John Glenn. Did you get a Safa Powell? Did you get Liam Neeson? Liam Neeson got an Oscar nomination for Schindler's List. He was the last Irish actor before Michael Fassbender, whose mum's from Larn, excluding Daniel Day-Lewis for controversy purposes. A blessing in disguise by the skin of your teeth. Fit as a fiddle. Your three idioms and your percentages. Forest areas on the planet, 31%. And there you have your feet and meters 10 5 meters and 35,800 odd feet so you have a 10 percent margin on that and a 5 percent margin on your 31 percent on forestation and chilies atacama desert is the driest place on the planet outside of the poles so 12 points potentially in that round i know you have to maybe figure out did you get within five percent of 31% and did you get within 10% of your 10,500 metres or your 35,800 feet? Out of 48, post your team names and your scores. Keep posting them comfortably dumb. 46, Barking Mad, 46, Lockdown Haircuts, 46. Heather, 47, Fantastic, Deirdre, 45, Barking Mad, Antrim, 46. Keep those scores coming in on all channels. And um, have a good Saturday. Anna Tempire, 41. Have a good Saturday while you work out your percentage, percentages. Cahiz and the doll, 142.
Check page 45. Some wonderful scoring. David, well done. 40. Anybody over 40, well done. Cora and the Thunderbroads, 40. Fantastic. Enjoy your Saturday. And um, sure, I'll see you. McLachlan's 47. That is unbelievable. Mac Jack's 41. Shamrock's 44. Donnelly's 47. Jimmy, well done. El Paso Duo. Well done, Marty, on 46. Well done, Francis. Well done. Thanks, Claire and Andrew. Good evening to you. Paul, 42. Deirdre, adios. Buenas noches, Deirdre. Uh, Keith, 44. Vanessa, 45. Thanks, Cora. Team Dev, 42. Sandbaggers, 47. Great scoring, Sam. Bernie and Kevin, well done on 42. Finsfuls, 45. Rhonda, fantastic, 39. Enjoy your Saturday. Same place, sorry, same time tomorrow evening, tomorrow afternoon, wherever you are. Same place, your place. And uh, thank you. Thank you for your generosity financially and all the messages. Thanks. Great, Paul. Enjoy your Saturday. Stay safe, everybody. Well done, Bernie and the Stellars on 42. Well done, everybody. It's the taking part.